Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. It is March the 10th. We've had a nice little snowstorm that raged through the Mideast, heading northeast. And tomorrow we're heading out to Connecticut. So that's where it actually hit the worst. But you know what? They can handle that kind of snow and I'm sure the roads will be nice and clean by the time we get there tomorrow morning, hopefully. At any rate, today I decided to do one short video and I went ahead and just spent a little bit of time just printing some photos on a few of my printers. And the primary reason for this little exercise, even though it combined Canon papers and the Red River San Gabriel that I've been playing with, I wanted to show you guys how wonderfully QImage Ultimate handles up sizing or up resing without having to worry about, you know, whether you're using the correct native resolution for your printer, Canon or Epson, and none of that. It just does it magically. I know many others do it as well, but for some reason, I can tell the difference between Q image quality of up to just about anything else. Even though there are some standalone up programs that actually work wonderfully as well. Q image does it behind the scenes and you don't have to worry about anything. So we're gonna look at some photos that I just did. In fact, they just came out a second ago. And I'm going to read you the actual native resolution of the images that I used, and then I will show you the prints. I have one here that is a total of 640 by 960 pixels. Okay, that's maybe an early smartphone. Have a look at that. I know many of you saw my video showing a few prints also where I showed the shot of my niece that she took of herself. It was a self portrait that she did with her iPhone. And it was amazing. Now, if you get up and start pixel peeping, yes, you will see a little bit of a fuzziness here and lack of definition between individual hairs. But I want you to look at the sky. Check out that sky and tell me if you see any banding. Maybe right around here, but it is almost non-existent. The bokeh is wonderful. Now, I did not shoot any of these images I'm going to show you. I downloaded them from a free photo site on purpose at various levels of resolution, native resolution that is. And I just want you to see what the Q image algorithm does when it upsizes these images. And it's quite amazing. That's why I kind of fall back on that program whenever I'm going to print large. And if I don't have to do a lot of editing, I just stick with it throughout. All right, the next print was from an image that was 1385 by 1885. Now, if you use the divide by 300 pixels to figure out how many inches by how many inches, that would be, I don't know, four, a little bit over four by maybe six, like a four by six. Have a look at that. That's not four by six. Have a look at the detail. That turned out amazing. And by the way, the prior photo that I just showed you, that was done on the Pro 10 from Canon using OEM inks. The same inks that I extract out of the cartridges that I sell, the Pro 1 cartridges that I sell. I'm looking for something to really fault on this. And I just simply cannot. And again, ridiculously low resolution, 1385 by 1885. That, like I said, that's good enough for about a four by six. All right, now here is a print 
1411 by 1900 pixels. And I printed it on the 3880 using San Gabriel. And by the way, I had to adjust the platen gap to wide. I had to adjust the time between passes to quarter second. So it took forever. And I had to adjust the thickness of the paper setting to 15 mils. How about that for quality? Again, I'm, I'm just looking for any fault. Now, this is not super, super, super tack sharp, but I can read what it says on his cane. Clearly, I can almost read the newspaper. I mean, for something as large as this, this is about 16 by 20 image size on a 17 by, maybe a little bit smaller than 16 by 20, on a 17 by 24. So this is fine. This is, this is absolutely fine. Oh, I also had to reduce the ink intensity by 10, a factor of 10. That was causing buckling. And I think I found the magic setting to prevent any paper buckling and thus prevent those horrible head strikes that do occur on this paper when you're printing that wide. And it has to be uh, that wide. If I use a smaller uh, dimension paper, it seems to be fine. But when you start printing big, which is the reason I bought those 17 inch rolls, then you have problems. But yeah, this is lovely. This is absolutely lovely. This is on OEM ink on the 3880. Paper thickness of 15, wide gap for the platen, and a quarter second between passes. And I'm using bi-directional, by the way. So, all right, the next resolution size is 2225 by 3335. And this was on the R2000 from Epson using the ink set from Precision Colors. It is not a black and white. It is a toned print, purposely done that way. So it's not a neutral conversion to black and white. It is toned. I want you to see the gloss, evenness, and the detail. Again, we're not comparing printers here, although I sort of am. Might as well kill two birds with the same stone. But I am showing you the marvelous ability of Q Image Ultimate to up res images. Amazing. And we will end with a much higher resolution original image, 2304 by 3451. And yeah, this thing is sharp as a tack. I will try to get up close. This was done on the Pro 10 OEM inks. Look at the droplets. You can see the little tiny hairs on the leaves, the actual leaves. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoy this little quickie. Basically, I just wanted to spend a little time and just do a little bit of testing that I haven't done and just kind of feature the upresting algorithm of the Q Image Ultimate, the latest software that they have out. I am a customer, so I pay my update fee every year of about 25 bucks, I think it is. And then I able to keep up with every single update of that wonderful software. Q Image does probably 90% more functions than I ever would need. And I only use it to basically act as a raw image editor when I don't have to do a ton of, you know, like dodging or burning in or any of those other manipulations that are best done in either Lightroom or Photoshop. Remember, it is an undestructive program. So when you open up a raw image, and you do some processing on it, you're basically sending the same data to the printer, 
and not converting to a file format. I am sure that there is some differences in the information you are sending because you are doing some editing, but at least you know that you are working on a much larger color space than you would um, converting, say, to JPEG and then working off of a JPEG and sending that JPEG to your printer. That would not be optimal. All right, thank you so much. I hope I have an uneventful trip. We're looking forward to this. We're going to stay at a pretty nice country inn, very big and kind of fancy. And um, hopefully I will be able to take a few candid shots. I'm not the photographer. I'm just the uncle. And our Nathan is going to be the ring bearer. And he said I had to help him. So I'm going to wear my nice expensive Italian suit. And I'm going to wear some bright red socks with it because Grandpa is kind of screwy. So, and Nathan told me I had to. So, all right, we will see you on Tuesday. Today is Friday the 10th. So we'll see you Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 14th of March. I will be back online. I will take my tablet. I will be able to answer questions throughout our little weekend getaway, but I will not be uploading anything new until I get back. All right, so thank you once again. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, everyone, happy printing. Bye-bye.